regarding Catherine's strategy um, yes. to use a process comment to help the couple stay longer in their emotions, please help me understand. If this is a couple with a pursuer with a small T trauma, how do I discern if this stuck place needs a process comma or this is trauma and I just need to go slowly and just let help them dip into emotion? Mm, it's a great question. I don't see those two options, making a process comment or slowing down to help the person dip into their emotion. I don't see them as different. Mm. I don't see them as distinct. Do I both. They do both because the process comment buys us time. The process comment contains it normalizes, it legitimizes their experience, whatever it might be. It buys us time to see what happens when we try to settle and soothe the system if the couple gets settled for a moment. Mm -hmm. It buys us time to make a judgment about where to go next. Yeah. And so the process comments become our ally to creating a process that's well-paced so a trauma survivor has a chance to develop safety with the clinician. Remember, safety is a foreign concept to especially small T trauma victims. Small T, if we're talking about the way that I am used to talking about it, is that emotional neglect, the non-safety that was never provided, the no safety for vulnerabilities, vulnerabilities were used against you. Process comments are one of the most transparent, predictable ways to build safety. When you make process comments, you are experienced as safe and predictable to your clients. The process comment slows the present moment, and then you can be evocative in terms of helping the trauma survivor go closer, just a half step closer to their own distress. So that's how I don't see them as separate and distinct. Oh, I see. Okay. It's like a continuum of a flow of interventions. Evocative, half step, process comments, evocative half step. Yeah, and process comments can be as simple as a reflection. And it's observation. If, yes. If, if, yeah. If, if. It happened last night. Oh, wow. That was a really good sigh. I just want to slow down. That sigh was a sigh of what emotionally? Process comment, dipping into yeah. emotion. Like, exactly. Emotion, yeah. Emotion, yeah. 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 Oh. So I would say do them both and sandwich your interventions because that will give you more, many more opportunities to get in limbic resonance with this kind of client. Without safety, without a template for safety in our nervous system, limbic resonance is going to feel freaky to the client without a template for safety. So you're going to have to make lots of process comments as you build the scaffolding, start building the structure, the shape, the form of a potential template. Mm -hmm. And that's how we make ourselves and the process predictable and safe. In every session, regardless of trauma, we make process comments. And yeah. you don't think of them as distinct from evocative questions. I think of them as an intervention we need to be using regularly. And so then the process comment bleeds into an evoking if evoking is the next best intervention to do. And so this is really important because sometimes we think we make some grand process comment one time at the end of session. And or when we're stuck. Oh, and or when we're stuck. For more hot tips on emotionally focused therapy, go to theeftcafe.com and sign up for our newsletter where you will receive short little clips like the one you just watched.